So over the past summer and quarantine, I got really bored at home, even though I had a computer and everything behind me technically. Um, I got really bored of playing certain games because certain games weren't coming out on time or some things weren't really matching up with what I've seen. But I, uh, one day I came outside into the living room uh, and uh, found a old piano sitting under the couch and um, I started to learn how to play piano. It was an old Yamaha, it was like a cheaper Yamaha uh, keyboard, but it did work out for what I was doing because it was only because I just started to learn how to play piano. About now, fast forward like five or six months, I have learned a couple songs such as um, You Are The Reason by Calum Scott and uh, your, a song by Yuruma. I think it's River Flows In You. And uh, now I want to expand on playing a bigger and better, better songs um, and uh, learn some harder songs with more keys. So that old keyboard that I had and the keyboard that I had before I bought the new one um, was only a 61 key layout. So it only had the middle octave keys. I don't know how many octaves that are, but it only had a couple like that. But I uh, wanted to learn how to play Drops of Jupiter, so I'm gonna learn that soon enough. And I wanna learn how to play um, another song by Yuruma. I, I, can't, I can't remember what it's called. But I went ahead and bought a new piano, and I'm, I'm gonna review it for you guys today. So let's get right into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Ghost Ali here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a piano that I bought. So I went ahead and bought a new piano that's a full-size piano, or a full-size keyboard, in fact. Um, it, is an, it is the Elise's Recital. It's nothing super exciting, it's just so I can have a bigger piano and um, have it feel better in terms of quality. Okay, so here's the box. I'm gonna try to open this uh, nicely. I definitely cannot get the whole keyboard because it's super long. I don't know if you can notice, but it's super long. So uh, my ca my camera can't uh, get that wide of an angle. But uh, I will unbox it as much as I can and show you guys as much I can as I can of this keyboard. So as I said, it's an 88 key digital piano and. Uh, I know I should be using a knife, but my knife's upstairs and I'm too lazy to get it. But um, uh, as I said, it's 88 keys instead of 61, so it's a full-size keyboard. Um, it has, I think, five or six voices or whatever you want to call those things. Um, it is. It does have, um, I think, uh, weighted keys, but like half weighted or whatever. It's not like fully weighted. Um, this is a pain. But uh, so. Oh, I know I should be using a knife, but um, as I said, it's not bad for 250 bucks, I guess, uh, as I've seen in many other people's uh, reviews on this. Uh, they said it's not bad for its price, and uh, if I'm just starting off like I am, it's going to be perfectly fine for my use case, because I'm going to be using it just to learn a couple songs and nothing super fancy. Okay, so here's the keyboard. Uh, obviously some styrofoam in there to keep it protected, but um, let's try to take this keyboard out and uh, <laughs> hope for the best when I take it out because it's kind of, eh, it's not that bad. But um, before we get to the keyboard, I'm going to place this on my chair for now. Uh, before we get to the keyboard, uh, let's get to the accessories. So in this bot, in this one, you have your power cable. I think it is. Yeah, you have your you have your standard DC power cable. Nothing fancy, just a regular power cable. You have a music stand and stuff like that, and that's all that comes with this. Um, I do have a stand for this. I will not have a review on that because it's definitely nothing special. But there you go. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna show you the keyboard now. 
Uh, okay. So here's the keyboard, nothing special, just a regular plain old keyboard, I guess you want to call it. Let's get you a better angle of the keyboard. But, um, so it is a weighted, I guess you want to say a half weighted keyboard, I think it's called. Um, it's fairly thin and not heavy at all. It's, um, it's good for portability. Um, it has everything I need for it to work. Nothing I need to be special or anything, but uh, just regular keys, non-ivory. These are plastic. Um, you can take out this strip. And uh, as you can see, it is a black finish. It is black. Uh, it has half-weighted keys, I think they're called, or whatever. Uh, it's not ivory, it's a uh, Think plastic <laughs> everything's a plastic design 20 20 watt speakers on both sides it has your input back here I'm gonna show you that right now okay as I said this is a full-size keyboard so first you have your power button your volume knob uh, you have all your demos and stuff like that piano uh, you have your different voices or yeah voices so you have piano electric piano organ synth and bass and then you have your split button which i need to learn how to use because i might use it you have as you said as i said your full size 88 keys your 20 watt speakers with tweeters uh, on both sides and um it's fairly thin it's really thin actually uh it's that thin on the back all it says is elise's and recital and uh back here you have all your connections such as usb midi your sustain pedal, if you get a sustain panel pedal, your line out for headphones or for your speakers, and then your headphones, and then you have your obviously your uh, DC power. Nothing special on the bottom, nothing much. I think there's mounts for the stand, but that's it. Up here, you have your mounts for the uh, music stand if you ever use a music stand, but I'm not going to be using that much. But, uh, so I'm going to go plug this in and see how it sounds.
Okay, so my thoughts on this keyboard. Um, this keyboard is perfectly fine for beginners such as me or people that have only been playing for so long and uh, don't really know what they're doing, just wants to buy a piano because they want to get back into the industry or whatever. Uh, the speakers on these are not the best, they're 20 watts, um, so they are definitely tinny at a certain point, but they also distort about halfway through the volume wheel, so like uh, if I put it like up to here, it's pretty distorted compared to a regular speaker such as my Logitech ones over there. Um, I, if I were, if you were, if I were you, I would either connect these to a pair of headphones or uh, to a pair of speakers if you guys have any. But if you guys are just starting off, as I said, it's perfectly fine. It would fit just in a small room such as mine or into a master bedroom regular sized room or whatever. You would not be able to play this in like a good sized uh, living room because uh, it doesn't fill up the room as much because it's not really that good of speakers and it also will be distorted when they when it comes out so it would not be the best experience. Another thing about this piano though uh, it does not come with a sustain pedal so I'm gonna think of going to go get one later on uh, in the year or whatever and uh, for now I am using a piece of tin foil that I stick into the sustain port or whatever you want to call it and uh, it works I've seen it all over YouTube and if you guys want to go check I'll, sh I'll try to link a video down in the description on about how to do that and why that works um, essentially it is just putting a button inside there whatever connecting the pins or whatever but um, this piano feels perfectly fine. Um, it's definitely not like a real piano because I don't. Re I really never had a real piano, but um, I know what it feels like uh, from what I've seen and felt over the couple years. This, as I said, has half weighted keys, not full weighted. So um, essentially, I I'm pretty sure I said this already, but um, yeah, half weighted keys. Uh, they're perfectly fine for beginners, as I said. Um, I would buy a stand for this um, if I were you. It definitely feels better with a stand because then now you can have a either in place or roll it around such as this one that I'll link in the description below. Um, it's not bad. I have a little, a uh, couple little flaws with it, but it's perfectly fine. Um, it's like 60 bucks. Stands are expensive, but yeah, I'll link that in the description below and. Uh, I'll sharp now and uh, I'll put I'll play a little bit for you so you guys can hear even though you're not gonna really real, be able to really hear it through this microphone but you'll be able to hear just a little bit uh, little bits of this uh, of how it sounds so another couple things about this panel um, the if you just stick that uh, the stick the aluminum foil into the sustain but uh, sustain plug or whatever it lasts longer than my 61 key uh, keyboard. That 61 key keyboard, uh, the sustain lasted about um, four seconds or so, four and a half seconds. This thing lasts six and a half to seven, um, depending on how hard you push. Um, oh, that's another thing about this keyboard, but um, I'll say that a, li a little bit. But um, depending on how hard you push, uh, the, the longer it'll stand and the louder it'll be. Um, that's all I gotta say. This one lasts longer, so if anything, I would go ahead and get a sustain pedal for it. It's like 20 bucks or $18 on Amazon. So I would really, on um, deciding to get that, or go buy a bundle with this and the sustain pedal, whatever you guys wanna do about that. Um, so as I said before, um, this, this keyboard is touch sensitive. So if I barely, barely push down on this keyboard, on this key, it will barely play. It won't be as loud if I go a little harder every single time. You'll be able to hear more. It's like a real piano. So, if as if I was playing a real piano, if I pressed it very little, you'll be able to barely hear it in by ear. But if I press it really, really hard, you'll be able to hear most of the sound come out. As I said, it lasts longer when I hold and uh, It'll stop longer if I barely press it. It lasts a little shorter, 
but nothing to be complaining about there. I just haven't decided to go get a sustain pedal yet, but this this uh, this problem will go away once you get a sustain pedal. Um, pla uh, the build quality on this uh, keyboard is all plastic, nothing special, and uh, even the keys are plastic. I'm pretty sure I, they don't feel like ivory or anything. Nothing special, just plastic keys. Um, fairly, when you first get it, it's really, really um, stiff, and you have to kind of break it in uh, to get used to the feeling of heavier keys. But unless you guys got a real piano or uh, played on a real piano for a couple years, then you'll be perfectly fine because it won't feel the same, but it will feel better than a regular standard keyboard. But um, as I said, I do recommend this uh, for certain people, but um, it's definitely not the best one you can get out there. I would really go for a Yamaha or a Casio because they are better in terms of sound quality and uh, build quality. They are either wood or, pla or uh, harder plastic than this molded plastic or whatever. Like down here you can see the flex on the body, which I am afraid of eventually because this is a center. There's no center support on this uh, stand, but I really re rarely think that it's going to mess up anything. But, uh, nothing bad, really bad about this. This is not a sponsored video or anything. I just really thought this was cool because uh, I bought it and I need a new piano. But, uh, another thing about, about these speakers, it's missing out on the high end and it's fair, really, really, really distorted. Um, so like, as I said, I thought it was only halfway to the point where you'll hear distortion but if you even bring it down to like uh, I want to say uh, a th a th uh, two thirds of the or not even what, you, what am I saying um, like three eighths of the way down you see you still hear some distortion so I would recommend on connecting these to a pair of headphones or better pairs of speakers the amp on this is not the best either so be aware of that. It might sound the same on speakers, but on headphones they do sound better depending on your headphones. So yeah, that's all I got to say about this piano. I will put, try to play I, I will try to learn another piece eventually. If you guys want to see more piano content, uh, leave a like down uh, down below and uh, comment down below if I should put more piano or what else do you guys want to see on this on this channel. Um, please leave a like. And uh, subscribe uh, if you haven't already. Put post notifications on for my next video. I'm trying to post every week, but it is hard when I'm in school and um, hard when I don't have a lot of money. But uh, that's it for today. If you guys like this piano, I will put a uh, put it in the description below. I'll also put a sustain pedal down there if you guys want to put if you guys want to buy those separately. Um, I will put. Uh, a couple of the pianos down, or one or two pianos that I do like, down in the description below. They are going to be more expensive, around four hundred to six hundred dollars. I want to say about that. I know it's a two hundred dollar jump, but the more expensive it gets, the better it'll be in terms of quality and sound. Uh, so just know that. Um, that's all I got to say for you guys today. So uh, if you guys like this video, do everything I said. Comment down below what else I should do on this channel. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later. Peace out.